All right, guys. Hey, guys. This is Mark from North 7 Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're getting out of this timber. A little breezy. And uh, we're on episode 9, which uh, all the lures I already pre-picked here for 10 lures or 10, uh, 10 bags of soft plastics. So very quickly, we've got X-Zone, the five inch stick bait that they've got. They've got X-Zone little Ned Rig. We've got the X-Zone Swammer, X-Zone Adrenaline Crowd. Um, we've got Big Bite Baits, um, the BFE, Reaction Innovation, Sweet Beaver, Gambler six inch Gold Rush, Jackal Nico Flick, Jackal Crosstail Shad, and Gambler 6 inch Crack Copper. Alright, so those are our 10 bags of soft plastics that we're gonna do today. Let's uh, start knocking them out. That's up. Another rock bass? Nope, that's a bass, I think. Oh. Uh, see him. Yeah. Let's go, buddy. Oh. And at him, a little pound and a half, or maybe. Not horrible. On the X Zone center stick. Chubby little guy. There we go, number one down. Smalley on the X Zone Ned thing. Ah, bring the uh, dorsal fin up. There we go. Boom. Number two done. Sweet beaver's done. Alrighty, hold on. Oh, 13 inter. Alrighty, number three is done. Let's keep going. Oh, got something. Alright, guys, hooked into a giant on the slammer. I think this is like a three pound smallie. Am I going the other way? Yes. It's... <laughs> nope, it's just a four pound freaking large mouth. Oh, heck yeah. Beauty. Beauty. I was like, whew. Whew, that guy is four and change. I wish I had my XO, or wish I had my scale with me. He's my biggest bass of the year. Take a picture and let him go. That guy's every freaking bit four and a quarter, I bet you. I don't know, it could be four and a half. Oh, 
baby. There we go. Whew. Giant. Probably 19 inches. Four and change, anyways. Beauty. Back in the drink. I'll see you in September when you're six and change. Alrighty. I was just going to say that a smallmouth ate the tail off my Exxon Swammer. And I was like, ooh, maybe I should change another one. I'll show you guys Exxon Swammer here. Uh, so there we go. I was like, I don't know. The Exxon Swammer is actually uh, probably the most iconic bait from uh, from Exxon. It's, it's uh, their first original lure probably or whoever Exxon bought it off of. Because uh, I think they bought a lure company. So there we go, guys. That's number four. Giant bass. I wish I brought my skip. Alrighty, a little smallmouth on the jackal crosstail shad. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Ooh. Come on, buddy. Another giant, I think. Yep. Yeah, another three pounder. That's not quite as big as the last guy. Solid three, though. Six inches done. There we go. Look at that guy. He's got a little black tattoo right here. I don't think I've ever seen a fish on this lake have that marking. Cool. Let's get another one. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I was recording because you made my BFE go flying, but the BFE is done. Which is good because that's a hard lure to get rid of. There we go. That means, now that the BFE is done, we're down to three. Alrighty, let's rig up the adrenaline craw for this little area that we're coming up to and knock out the rest of them so I can go home. Alright guys, the adrenaline craw is done, or whatever that is. I just want to talk about Egg zone here for a second. Okay, buddy. The sooner you stop for a second. Thank you. The sooner you get out of my book. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, that bugger. Okay. Good lord. Alright, the egg zone. Um, here's the thing. I've had like four lures like this and just ripped the friggin' two craws right out, off, right away. Um, so there we go, it works, but I feel like the durability is questionable. Alright, let's get uh, some of a go flick shake here. Ain't no rock bass. Ain't no rock bass. Nico flick is done. All right, a little too excited, but it's pretty windy. I want to go home. There we go. Nico Flick's done. We are down to one, and then we've caught 20 bass today on 20 different lures. That's got to be a bass. 
Get him in the boat, Mario. Get him in the boat. There we go. Crack hopper's done. We gotta get out of here. Full speed away. All right. Well, that's number 90, I guess. A little 10-incher on the crack hopper. I gotta get out of here. Wind's picking up. All the stuff you don't want. There we go, guys. Oof, shoot, that wind is picking up. All right, I told my mom I'd take her grocery shopping, guys, so uh, it sucks because I hate going to town in the afternoon, but whatever. There we go, guys. Thank you guys for watching episode nine, and take care.